moving on to question number two. This is from Rajesh. He is uh, Indian and like most people in his country, he doesn't eat meat. Um, particularly, he does eat uh, dairy products and products derived from animals, but he doesn't eat um, any kind of meat. So, you know, he's struggling with getting enough of protein. This is a common question I get. Uh, I have quite uh, a lot of people from uh, India following my channel, so I thought this would be a good question to answer. So what I recommend for you, Rajesh, is to always have two portions of protein dense foods in every meal. Your best choices here as a vegetarian will be, uh, let's see, beans, eggs, legumes, tofu, tempeh, uh, some kinds of yogurts like Greek yogurts can have quite some protein sometimes. Aim for you know yogurts that have 8 grams of protein per 100 grams and above. Uh, Greek yogurt can be one solution. Icelandic yogurt specifically, I don't know you, if you have this in your country, uh, a brand called Skier is one I eat a lot that has 11 grams of protein per 100 grams. Pretty badass for a yogurt. Um, peas, you know, these are your best choices usually. After that, I recommend that you also get a variety of uh, grains in your diet. So, you know, try to mix the things up. Uh, oatmeal, millet, uh, another good choice, quinoa. Uh, and of course, you know, all the typical things, rice as well, is not bad. Um, you know, try to mix all your grains and your carb sources because combining these with, um, you know, all, all kinds of different legumes, uh, lentils as well, I didn't mention them before, it's a good choice. Uh, you know, when you mix all these uh, grains with these kinds of legumes, uh, they provide you a pretty decent... Uh, amino acid profile. So, you know, you want a wide range of amino acids in order to get uh, full protein in your diet. So, uh, other things you can do is add some nuts and seeds in your diet, you know, at least on a daily basis, have like a, a good handful of nuts and seeds. You can also add these in your salad. Uh, make sure that you also soak these because that way uh, you get more of the nutrients absorbed. I've made a video about this. I'm going to link it above. Uh, other things you can do is, you know, protein supplements. There are a lot of vegetarian protein supplements nowadays. You know, these can be made out of hemp, out of rice, out of peas. So as long as you follow these three basic rules, number one, include at least two portions of protein dense foods with every meal. Number two, include seeds and nuts in your daily diet, either as a snack or you can combine them with your salad. Make sure that you soak them at least uh, six to eight hours in water every day to get the best nutritional value out of them. And as long as you also supplement your diet with at least a scoop of vegetarian protein, you'll be okay. Extra tip, also eat a lot of eggs, you know. Uh, people are kind of afraid of eggs. They used to be considered like a unhealthy food in the past, but all the current research shows that, you know, it's an extremely healthy food, especially for a vegetarian guy like you, you know, including a lot of these won't be a problem if you're a healthy individual and you move. Um, I used to have like up to six eggs per day when I used to do some vegetarian diets. So, you know, also keep that in mind. So that was all for today. I'll try to answer at least one nutritional and one workout question per week on my Wednesday Q and A's. So leave me more, your questions ideally at uh, info at homemade That's my email address. You can also ask the questions in these videos below in the comment section. You can send your questions at Homemade Muscle, my Facebook group, or you can also leave them as comments on my Instagram photos. So that was all for today. Until next time, keep on training.